Hi, this is Sai Kishore D from Magnify Software. 30 days, 30 April topic. In this series, day one, number system. So in this topic, we will cover types of numbers, divisible rules, find the last rate of number in powers, number of zeros at the end of the product. Sum of all natural numbers, sum of even numbers, sum of odd numbers, sum of squares, and sum of cubes. So coming to the topic, types of numbers, natural numbers. So what is natural number definition? All countable numbers. All countable numbers. Starting from 1. Counting always start from 1. Next, whole numbers. Natural numbers with 0. Natural numbers with 0. Zero. So starting from zero. Next to even numbers. Which number is divisible by two? Odd numbers which is not divisible by two. Which is not divisible by two. And prime number. What is prime number definition? It has only two factors. Only two factors. One and itself. One and itself. And simple question. How many prime numbers in between 1 to 50? How many prime numbers in between 1 to 50? So there are 15 prime numbers. And 1 to 100? How many prime numbers in between 1 to 100? There are 25 prime numbers. And 1 to 200, 46 prime numbers. How many prime numbers in between 1 to 200? There are total 46 prime numbers. These are important and direct questions. No need to calculate. Next, divisible rules. So, first, two divisible rules. What is two divisible rule? Unit digit. Unit digit means last two. Unit digit should be unit digit should be even or zero. Even or zero. Next row, three divisible row. Three divisible row. So sum of all digits. Sum of all digits. should be divisible by 3 should be divisible by 3 next to 4 divisible row next to 4 divisible row last two digits last two digits should be divisible by 4 divisible by 4 or 2 zeros ending with 2 zeros ending with 2 zeros 5 divisible rule unit digit should be unit digit should be 0 or 5 0 or 5 uh, next next to six divisible rule so it should follow two and three divisible it should follow two and three divisible rules divisible rules next seven divisible rule so Last digit multiply with the two. Last digit multiply with two and subtract from and subtract from remaining number. Remaining number. Result should be 
result should be zero or seven multiple. Zero or seven multiple. For example, three forty three. Three forty three. So three multiply with the two and subtract from remaining number. Thirty four minus six. Twenty eight. So twenty eight is seven multiple. Twenty eight is seven multiple. Three forty three is divisible by seven. And we know seven Q value three forty three. Seven Q value three forty three. Eight divisible root. So last three digits should be divisible by eight. Should be divisible by eight or three zeros. Three zeros. Next nine divisible root. Sum of all digits. Should be divisible by nine. Divisible by nine. Ten we know ending with zero. Next to eleven. So eleven divisible rule. Difference between. Sum of even places and odd places. Difference between sum of even places and odd places should be zero or eleven multiple. Zero or eleven multiple. So, for example, one three three one, one three three one, one two three four places, even places, sum of even places means three plus one, difference, sum of odd places, one plus three, four minus four, zero. So, one three three one is divisible by eleven. And we know eleven Q value, eleven Q value one three three one. So next, find the sum of all natural numbers from one to fifty. So what is the formula? N into N plus one by two. First of all, what is N value? N value from one to fifty means there are total fifty numbers. So N value fifty. Fifty into fifty one. By two, so two twenty five, twenty five into fifty one. So answer one two seven five, one two seven five. Next one, sum of even numbers from two to ten. So first of all, what is n value? How many number? How many even numbers? Even numbers two, four, six, eight to ten. So only five, five even numbers means n value five, and formula n into n plus one, n into n plus one, five into six, thirty. Sum of even numbers from two to ten, thirty. Next one, sum of odd numbers from one to seventeen. So how many odd numbers from one to seventeen? There are total nine odd numbers. And the formula n square, nine square means eighty one, eighty one. Next one, find the sum of scores from one to eighteen. N value eighteen, and the formula n into n plus one into two n plus one by six, by six. So n value eighteen. 18 into 19 into 836 plus 1 37 by 6. So three times. Three into 
19 into 37. 3 into 19 into 37. So 2109. 2109. Next one. Sum of cubes. N value 12. And formula. N into N plus 1 by 2 whole square. Whole square. 12 into 13 by 2 whole square. So 6 times. 6 into 13 whole square. So 70 height whole square. 78 square. 78 square value. 6084. 6084. So, find the last rate of 10,423 whole power 130. So, very very important. Before that, uh, 2 power 1 ending with 2, 2 square ending with 4, 2 cube ending with 8, 2 power 4 ending with 6, 2 power 5 ending with 2, 2 power 6 ending with 4. So, repetition after 4 times. Each and every time after 4 times. Uh, next to 3 power 1, 3. 3 square ending with 9. 3 cube ending with 7. 3 power 4 ending with 1. 3 power 5 ending with 7. Sorry, 3. 3 power 5 ending with 3. Repetition after 4 times. Next, 4 power 1 ending with 4. 4 power 2 ending with 6 and 4 cube ending with 4 means repetition after 2 times. 5 power 1 ending with 5, 5 square ending with 5. So 5 always ending with 5. 6 power 1 ending with 6, 6 square ending with 6. So 6 also ending with 6. six. 7 power 1 ending with 7, 7 square ending with 9, 7 cube ending with 3, 7 power 4 ending with 1, 7 power 5 ending with 7. So, repetition after 4 times. Next, 8 power 1 ending with 8, 8 square ending with 4, 8 cube ending with 2, 8 power 4 ending with 6, 8 power 5, 8 ending with 8. Next, 9 power 1 ending with 9, 9 square ending with 1 and 9 cube ending with 9. So, after 2 times. So, from this, 2, 3, 7 and 8. A repetition after 4 times. A repetition after 4 times. 4 and 9. A repetition after 2 times. A repetition after 2 times. And 5 and 6 every time. Ending with the same. Means only one time. Only one time. So we have to find out. What is given one? Find the last rate of 10,423 whole power 130. So, ending with 3 power 130. 130 by 4. Because repetition after 4 times. So, so we have to find out remainder. Remainder. 130 by 4. What is remainder? Remainder 2. Means 3 square. 3 square value 9. So, last rate of 10,423 whole power 130 ending with 9. 3 power 130 ending with 9 and 3 square also ending with 9. And remember, this is very, very important. Ending with 2, 3, 7, 8, repetition after 4 times. Ending with 4 and 9, repetition after 2 times. 5 and 6, 1 time. Next, find the last rate of 12,459 whole power 121. 
9 power 121. 9 power 121. So 9 repetition after 2 times. 121 by 2. Remainder 1. Remainder 1. 9 power 1 means ending with 9. Given number, I mean 12,459 whole power 121 ending with 9. Find the number of zeros at the end of 45 into 15 into 42 into 32 into 40 into 22. So we have to find out number of zeros at the end. At the end. So before that, for example, 100. A given value converted into 2 powers and 5 powers. 2 powers and 5 powers. 2 into 15. 2 into 2 into 25, 2 into 2 into 5 into 5, 2 square into 5 square. We have to take least power, least power. So in this least power is 2, means ending with 2 zeros. Given number ending with 2 zeros, 100 ending with 2 zeros. For example, 120. 120. So again, we have to convert into 2 powers and 5 powers. 2 into 16. 2 into 2 into 13. 2 into 2 into 2 into 15. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. 3 into 5. 2 cube and 5 power 1. We have to take only 2 powers and 5 powers. So what is the least one? Least, least one, 5 power 1, means ending with 0, only 1 0, 120 ending with only 1 0. So next, given, convert into 2 powers and 5 powers, 5 into 9, 3 into 5, 2 into 21, and 2 power 5, 2 into 7, Next to 2 into 11. We have to take only 2 powers and 5 powers. 5 2 times means 5 into 2 square. Next to 2 into 1, 5 plus 6, 7 and 8. 2 power 8. In this one, least one. Least power. Least power 5 power 2 means given number ending with 2 zeros. Given number ending with two zeros. For more updates, follow our YouTube channel. Comment your answer.